If you are at the market looking for a freehold option in the District 2 region and wants to enter at a safe entry price of below 2300 per square foot, this unit is something for you to check out. Let's go! So this project was completed in 2013 and is developed by the reputable UOL development. It features 351 residential units spread across 36 storeys, ranging from 1 to 3 bedroom apartments and penthouses. This development has one of the bigger land plot size in this area of about 3,452 square meters. The units are designed with modern and spacious layouts and panoramic views of the city and the sea. So before I show you the unit, let's talk a little bit more about the location itself. Spottiswood Park Road is located in the residential historic district of Black Plain. We are also within walking distance to Ocean Park that will connect you to Harbourfront MRT Station where you can interchange within the North East Line and the Circle Line. With also the recent opening of Maxwell MRT Station, this brings enhanced connectivity where you can travel to Orchard or Marina Bay within a couple of minutes. And in the future, Cantonment MRT which is stipulated to be completed in 2026 alongside with Prince Edward and Keppel Station. This will in turn bring greater convenience to residents staying in areas such as Spottiswood, Capel Road and the southern edge of the central business district. We are also within close proximity to AYE and CTE which will link you to other parts of Singapore. So for schools wise, we are in close proximity in Cantonment Primary School, CHIJ Kellogg, River Valley Primary School, Radin Mas Primary School and also Ultram Secondary. School. For amenities, we have Tanjong Paga Plaza, 100 AM, International Plaza and also Chinatown Complex. So just below us, there is also Blair Plain Conservation Shop Houses where you can find hipster restaurants and food options as well as the street across at New Road where there are plenty of cafes and restaurants. So for condo facilities in Spottiswood residences, on level 2, you can find a Tempanyaki dining area. The wellness area has a rainforest shower, a massage pavilion, jacuzzi, sky gym and a corner for yoga and outdoor fitness area. So when you enter this unit, you are greeted by this spacious living area. So this space is where you fit in a three-seater L-shaped sofa and also a coffee table at the side. So the good thing about this is that you have a great distance between the TV console and where you are sitting at. What you can see here is that the tenant has also put in a big piece of carpet that really showcases the entire area of the living space. You can see that this is a very squarish layout. There is no unwasted space that is left behind and you can utilise every single part of the living area. So this is the open concept kitchen and once you enter the unit, there is this hidden space here where you can find your washing machine area. So the tenant has also fitted in a dishwasher and also a microwave. And on top, we have plenty of storage spaces as well. So this space is where you fit in your two-door fridge and on top, we also have some more storage spaces. So in front here, you have your kitchen countertop area where you have the top and bottom cabinets, under mount sink basin and beside, we have also plenty of spaces for you to prepare your own meal. And also you have the electric stove and the hob and below you have a microwave oven as well over here you have more storage spaces so here you can actually have your study area for your work from home setup so this is the space where your TV console is at and what you can do is actually have a TV feature wall where you can enhance the usage of this entire space So behind me, this four big massive glass sliding door opens up to the magnificent view of this unit. So before I show you the view, let us talk about the unit specific of this layout. Zooming into the one beta unit here, there is predominantly two types at Spottywood residences, which is the 592 square feet and the 603 square feet layout configuration. The main difference for these two particular layout is that the balcony is slightly smaller than the other. So pulling out the floor plan of this unit, it has a very spacious living and dining area, an open concept kitchen, a nice balcony space, your master bedroom accompanied with the master bathroom, and also a home shelter that is used as a wardrobe currently. So opening up to the balcony, you get to see the entire view of Cheong Baro Estate as well as overlooking towards the Singapore General Hospital. So this is facing the northwest direction where you have afternoon sun coming into this unit 
and this place is specially good for you to dry your clothes. It is also very windy here and when you open up the sliding door, you get the wind ventilation going into the unit itself. So this balcony is of a great size where you can fit in an fresco dining table and this can easily fit up to 5 to 6 people. I think this is an especially good space when you have friends and family coming over for dinner. And this is my favourite part of the balcony when you have this chill out corner here. You can literally just enjoy a couple of drinks with your friends or your partner after a long day of work and get to enjoy this magnificent city view. And if you take a look at the URA master plan, there's a few plot of land surrounding us which is zoned as residential sites subject to detailed planning. What this essentially means is that there will be more developments sprouting in this area as introduced by the government on the CBD incentive scheme, where it has placed a lot of emphasis on the live work play area in the central business district. This also means that there will be more mixed use development and also a larger residence population in the CBD area. With this government planning on a more diverse sector exposure, investors should see higher returns and lower risk. So a few examples of the new launches around this area is that there is also another mixed-use development that's launching in Anson Road, which is called the Newport Residences, alongside with Newport Tower and Newport Plaza. Also, the redevelopment of the former AXA Tower at 8 Shenton Way is set out to be the tallest and one of the most sustainable skyscraper in Singapore CBD. The upcoming development will boast 1.6 million square feet that comprises of the retail spaces, offices, hotel and luxury residential units. So before I show you the rest of the house, let's compare with the available surrounding one bader private residential freehold projects that is in District 2, which is on the high floor. So first we have Spotty's Wood 18. The asking price there is at 1.2 million. Size range from 506 square feet and the per square foot asking is at 2,371. Spotty's Wood Suites asking at 1.15 million with a size of 441 square feet. Per square foot asking is at 2,607. And for Sky Everton, the asking prices there ranges from 1.42 million starting from. The size there is about 463 square feet. Per square foot asking is already at about 3,000 and above. So another prominent new launches around this area, One Burnham, 99 years lease hope there is about 52% sold since its launch. The price ranges from 1.51 million onwards for one beta unit. The size ranges from 441 to 463 square feet. The per square foot pricing there starts from 3,300 onwards. Further down, we have Altes and Icon 99 years lease whole project. The one beta unit at Icon is asking at 1.48 million with a size of 786 square feet with a per square foot asking of 1,882. Altes, the asking price is at 1.65 million with a size of 840 square feet and the per square foot there is at $1,964. And on the other hand, if you're looking to purchase a one beta unit and looking at the lowest per square foot for a freehold project, it will be Spottiswood Residence which is trading at 2,300 per square foot. By and large, if you want something of a great size, the rarity of living in close to CCR region, the choice of luxurious living, Spottiswood Residence is a great choice for home buyers and for investment purposes. So coming to this master bedroom, you can see that the unit is separated by the flooring where the living room is currently fitted with the marble flooring and also your master bedroom is fitted with timber strip. And for your balcony wise, it's fitted with timber flooring. So this is a very spacious master bedroom where you can fit in a queen size bed and then opening up to the entire white space of this view over here. On this side of the bedroom, you have additional study table and you have additional storage beside the study space and also shelves for you to display your ornaments. So here here is your bay window space. I think this entire space you can fully utilize it where you can have a reading nook over here. This huge glass panel with two windows at the side that you can open up for wind ventilation as well. So this also introduces more natural light into the room itself. So this is a very interesting part of the house where you have a home shelter and this is currently used as a wardrobe and of course you have more space inside you can use it as a storage space as well. 
So this master bathroom is very spacious. Inside here, you can find three panels of glass storage spaces behind. You also have your vanity counter where you can find your basins. And also, there's more ample storage spaces below. To the left is your WC area, shower screen and also your glass casement door. Inside, you have your rain shower as well as your toilet accessories. So the good thing about this bathroom is that you have a window here. And when you're showering, you can open up the window to dispel all the moisture. So if you are considering to own a one beta unit here at Spottiswood Residences and you want to enter at a safe benchmark of only below $2,300 per square foot for a freehold project here in District 2, be it for own stay and for investment purposes, let us break down the numbers for you. Starting off with the loan quantum, at a purchase price of 1.39 million, that will bring your loan to value of 75% to about 1 odd million. A minimum cash sum component of 5% is 69,500. Adding in your buyer stamp duty of $40,200, that will bring your total cash requirement to 109,000. And the remaining 20% requirement, which can be paid via CPF of 278,000. Assuming these figures, in order to be eligible for a loan of 1 million, you and your spouse would minimally require a combined or individual monthly income of about $9,000. Loan tenure of 30 years with an interest rate of 3.88%. For your monthly instalment at a purchase price of $1.39, that will bring your monthly repayment to about $4,900 per month. Assuming you will be using part of your CPF to pay for the monthly mortgage, your cash outlay per month will be around $3,625 based on one individual buyer. So if you are considering this unit as an investment property in did for your own stay, the current market rental for one bader unit here in Spottiswood Residences is fetching around 4200 to 4500 Factoring in the MCSD fee of about $400 per month, that will essentially mean you do not have to come up with any cash and you will have a positive return of $175 every month. At $4,200 per month rent will give you a healthy gross rental yield of about 3.6%. So thank you for staying through this home tour with us and if you like this one beta unit here at Spottiswood Residences that offers high quality amenities and a luxurious living space with a safe entry price of 2300 per square foot at this prime locale of District 2, do contact our listing managers down below. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Jonathan Poe, Property Lean Brothers, always happy to show you the place. For both investment and home buyers. Sorry, I thought I was going to fall down. <laughs> thank you for staying through this home tour with us. And if you like this one beta free home, ah, thank you for staying through this home. Thank you for staying through this home tour with us. And if you like this one beta unit at rent, thank you for staying through this. Uh, thank you for staying through this home tour with us. And if you like this one beta unit at Spotty Sweet, ah, but sorry, thank you for staying through this home tour. Today, so today, <laughs> wait, wait, oh, sorry. <laughs>